right. Um, okay, and Jenny's going to help me with this. These are the things <clears throat> that you're going to start gathering. All right, Jenny. Okay, good morning. <laughs> it took me a minute to turn my microphone on. So good morning, and uh, we're going to talk about um, the second thing we need to do is to start gathering things. Um, you want to gather your W-9s, your personal tax info, your receipts, and start your inventory evaluation. So the first one we're going to talk about is W-9s, like Lynn was saying. W-9s are for 1099s, and those are for usually a service item that you have done for, um, someone has done for you, and you want to run a vendor payment summary report. That's in the report section. Then you can look to see who is getting near the threshold of $600. So if they're getting near there, you want to go ahead and call and get their W-9 um, if you don't already have it. Um, and so you must have your 1099s delivered by January 31st or penalties can occur. So um, you usually send um, a 1096 with all of your 1099s and, and we do, do provide the service of helping you with your 1099s. So we'll be glad to do that. So yeah. the next thing you want to um, gather is your personal tax info. This is anything any any employment or or non-employee compensation you've received for you or your spouse um, or and 1099 interest or other 1099s <clears throat> back on gathering you might want to double check because when you um, the rent your business pays is is if you're paying it to an individual you want to send a 1099 to them also um, to that vendor that you have paid to rent your um, lease or your building or your room or whatever. So um, back to the personal tax info, um, gather your un unemployment, employment, W-2s, 1099s, the interest or other 1099s that you, you do. Um, mileage for business is at 56 per cent. 56 cents per mile for 2021 this year. So I think it went down just a tad this year. So. Yeah. And, and so you would get your, you know, get your, your mileage, you know, that you did for like with your personal car, but you, but it was business related, you know, and you'll get that to your CPA. A lot of people forget that, you know, when they're gathering their personal tax info and the CPAs are super busy and they may forget to ask you for it too. So um, and remember that, you know, at HR Biz, we, we do your business taxes. We do not get involved in anything with your personal. So once your business taxes are ready, we'll hear people say, oh, well, I can't file because I don't have my personal stuff together. And so, you know, getting your personal stuff together now will help your CPA be able to file your taxes at the same time. Almost always, you're gonna, it's going to be advantageous to file your taxes, your personal and your business at the same time because you don't miss anything. Um, and then usually if you're a sole proprietor or a Schedule C, you'll need to file it with your personal taxes, right? <laughs> yes, yes. So the next thing you want to start gathering are your receipts um, and find them all and put them in a folder or an envelope, put them by date or ever how you wish to. And then so that when and then you can file them away uh, so that you'll have them when you um, if you're ever audited. So you can label them for 2021 taxes and you save those for six years. Um, and then you may wanna look for any receipts that you may, may have paid for business expenses out of your personal accounts. So if you have, so if you have paid your, um, say you bought something for the business and, and, and put it, paid it with your personal money, then you can claim that. Make sure that you have that receipt and put it with your business expenses. Yeah.